guys, Mr. Stang here, back at you with another video. Um, sorry that uh, we've been a little bit delayed. It's been like freezing over here in New York, so I haven't, you know, wanted to go outside and work on my car on like negative uh, 35 degree weather. Not that cold, but it's still freaking cold, so. Um, today's video, I got uh, my friend's car in the garage. Um, we're over here at Lisey's Towing again. Uh, this is where we did the Dodge Charger uh, Scat Pack Corsa Extreme install. So uh, my friend's got his Jeep here. Um, it's not muscle car related, but you know I figured there's a lot of Jeep guys out there, so put out a video for you guys. Today's video will be on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, we're gonna be uh, replacing all the headlights and fog lights and reverse lights into LED lights. And I think we're gonna put some kind of LED bar uh, in the lower part of the grill. Um, so yeah, we'll get right into it and uh, we'll go inside and I'll show you guys what's going on. Guys, so if you've seen a couple of my videos before, you've seen this guy before, this is Ryan McChain. So um, I went to high school with this guy, so I've known him forever. Um, he's into cars too. Part of the reason why I got in the cars is because of this guy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that's his car right back there. The giant, uh, what do you call that thing? Call that the, the Sting Gray. Sting Gray. Yeah, the giant Sting, man. All right. Well, I what goodies do you have for your Sting Gray? Uh, so today, I'm gonna replace my reverse lights. We are converting over to all LEDs, fogs, lows, and highs. And then we're also gonna go find our Sasquatch friend today. We're gonna insert our new light bar. We're gonna have a little fun. Yeah. And last but not least, we are going to change from over from our silver grill to our black grill. This baby is going to look nice. Ah, well, dang dude. It comes all in pieces like that? Yeah, it comes in pieces. You cut these off right here in the middle. They're just the insert, not the outer part. Oh. Last time I got the outer part, they started wearing off. So hopefully factory will be a little bit better now than just doing the insert. So then that's literally just replacing the silver in here. Yep. Just okay. This. So we're replacing the headlight bulbs, the fog light bulbs, and then the reverse lights. And then, and then we're then... gonna put our light bar hopefully right behind here if we can find ourselves a little mounting bracket. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. We got the car lifted up now and uh, we'll show the process of the install. We're starting off with the back lights, our reverse lights getting our clips out. Got our bottom one right here. And it's just two of them, right? So we got two back here to get this light out. We also one have minute. another one above us that's in the tailgate that we gotta get out. So that's gonna be a little fun. Um, I don't know if you can zoom in and see here, but we got notchers over here that we gotta pull out. Nice, nice, so we don't ruin it. Try and pull it out of here. Yeah. Oh, there goes one. That's behind your foot. Got it. And that's a two. So easy squeezy lemon peasy. Don't try to force it. Just go with it, let it pull. Don't be like me and being a maniac and go, eh. And she should just wiggle on out. Again, don't force it, you don't want to break it. Um, bada boom. There's our lights for the back right there. Yeah, so for the Jeeps, you have two lights. From what I've seen online from past Jeeps and what is for current Jeeps now, newer, uh, you're gonna be looking at a 7440 light bulb. It's a little bit smaller than this one that I have in my hand. And the one that I have in my hand is 7443. Just the three number difference does make a huge difference here. This baby's gonna blind you! So this is the reverse light, you said. Yeah, and this one is going to be... Right here. So this is your reverse bulb. And we're about to figure out how the hell we're gonna do this. I don't wanna f*** it up. Okay, that just pulls out like that. Bada boom. So when you take it out, you probably just push on that red tab and 
Just yank it out. The way to replace your bulbs, really just need to pull this thing out. Boom. Take a new one. All right, so it's still plug and play, just boom. It's a little different. Man, that bulb is huge. Yeah, that thing is huge. I don't want to touch it. These block gloves. Yeah, we okay. use those in, in film, too. Bottom boom. Slides right in. That's what she said. Ah! <laughs> Take your baby. Find the fittings. Goes right in. Boom, boom. Clips right in. Make sure you get it in the notches so that she twists right in. Lock her into place. Boom. That's it. She's done. So I've seen this done in recent videos from years ago and there's nothing newer so we thought we'd just make a newer video for newer vehicles. Nothing really much has changed with these newer Jeeps. It's the same thing. Two little, two little clips to pop out. Boom, boom, bing, bing, ba, ba. Bada, bing, bada, boom, that's it. Bada, bing, bada, boom, that's it. You can see her hiding in there. That's a big bulb, dude. That's gonna be so bright. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> They gotta repeat the process for the same side. So repeat the process for the same for the next side. Excuse our uh, exhales. Um, <coughs> same thing. Two clips. Pull it out. Don't be an idiot. Yeah. Try not to break it. Try not to break it. it makes it kind of easier when you take out the the whole housing. It does. It makes it a <laughs> lot easier. Yeah. Oh, am I putting the wrong one? Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. And she in. Oh, so just replug her in like so. Like that. And then find your little notches. Don't be an idiot like me. You didn't get LED brake lights, right? No. No. Just the reverse lights. Just the reverse. Very nice, very nice. Alright, that's done. Let me just put the bolts right back in place. Like so. Alright, so we're gonna change the other uh, reverse lights that are right here. Those small little bulbs. So if in order for you to get to these, you don't have to take the housing off, but you do have to take this in, inner panel right here on your tailgate. It's all being held on by clips, so if you just sneak your fingers under there, be very gentle. Let it just unclip. All right, with a little bit of elbow grease, uh, you yank that out. Just be careful, you do have some connections up there, which Ryan is disconnecting right now. Two on each side. I mean, one on each side. Right there and there. So, since your truck is going to be swung up in the air, I suggest you unplug those and do not leave it hanging. Otherwise, if you bust a connection, that's a whole other problem you don't want to deal with. That's your old one. That's your new one. Let me focus on it. That's the new one. Okay. Right in. Boom. Done go. Stick it back in. Turn her. Lock into place. Boom. Just that. Pull the bolt out. Put your new one in. She's locked into place. This is the brake that I have to take the bumper off. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. So you got, if you scroll down and take picture screenshots of everything, it tells you how to do everything. And in this, you don't, you stop over here. Not Where was this on? This is all data, you won't get it though. Oh, okay. If you want to take frame by frame, you'll be Hollywood. A lot of people can't get that. Huh. Oh. 
I have no idea how to explain all this stuff, but uh, step by step process of how to get everything apart. That's cool. That definitely is a lot of help. Yeah, Lisey's is a very professional shop. If you guys need anything done by them, feel free. Here we are taking off the front bumper of our Jeep. Um, keep in mind when you take out your front bumper, you're gonna take the little fender off and in the fender you have plastic rivets. You have to cut the plastic rivets in order for you to get the bumper off and you have to replace them. We use such tool, razor blade of any sort. This would be more ideal. And yeah, factory rivets get cut out. So you gotta replace them every time. Now you get through fog lights when you're going to have to unplug them. Don't forget to unplug the fog lights. Take these off for now. We're changing them anyway. Just lay it down. Put it over there. Out of stand. Then you have all this access. Alright, so. For you to change out the grills, I've seen on recent videos, you go in and try to get some kind of screw. I don't know what it may be. I don't know. Those are old videos, those are old Jeeps. So on uh, newer Jeeps, take off the front bumper. Over here you have Phillips head screws. You need to take out each and every one of them. Each slot, each insert is a different size. You get these clips right here, you take them out. That clip like so these screws. Well, have fun with that. Yes, sir. Start screwing around. Yeah, it just pops right out. Somehow the those just pop right out. Yeah, this is for the the turbo spool that he's gonna be putting in the Jeep actually. We're gonna leave this hole here so we get maximum airflow for the turbo. Mm -hmm. Suck in all this air. Pop out. Start over here, one by one. Mm -hmm. You just push away so you get the teeth to get off the flange there. Don't be an oopsie doopsie and break them because they are plastic. So be very gentle, unlike me. Don't do that. <laughs> it happens. Repeat the same process for all the rest. Ones are different? Yeah, the middle ones are the ones that latch on. Oh, okay. So just be careful of taking off the middle ones. The clamps are on the edges here. Wow, yeah, that's weird. On these ones, there's, there's literally nothing there. Something else. All right, and another thing to keep in mind as you're taking these out, make sure they're at least room temperature, 60 degrees or warmer. They are brittle, very fragile, as most would say. All right, so for you to get your inserts off, we have our clips here, right here. Now we have two different sizes, one going straight up. The other one's got a little bit of an angle. You want to start off with your angle, put very little pressure here, lift up. Boom, clearance for clearance, clearance for clearance. Same thing goes for the other side. There you go. I got one already, as in broken one. Yeah, so I guess they're all laid out in the right direction. And um, they're all connected together, so we're gonna have to cut them 
But make sure you don't mix up any of the pieces because uh, these are all laid out how they're supposed to go in. So just keep that in mind when you cut these off. Get them flush to your corners. Bada bing, bada boom. Bam. Just like that. Make sure you got the flat part on your edge here. That way you get closer and flush to the grill. So you just click it in. Just careful not to break any prongs when you do it. Yep. Don't but be Most dish. likely you will break one because it's pretty easy to break it. Yeah, yeah that voila. looks pretty good. Badass, baby. All right, how many of those do you have left to go? Uh, we got about like <laughs> six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you're putting them back on, make sure you do the same way. Make sure you put them on the same way you took them off. Go with the angle part first. That way, your little clips here slide right in. Boom, boom. Give her a little tug and pull. And there you go, she clips right back in. All right, four more to go. So now that we got our inserts in, switched over to black. Coming back over to the bumper, you wanna make sure that your clips and your inserts are in the correct order because each one are differently ordered and different size. Clips are in different spots. So make sure they're all aligned. Just like that, one, two, three, when we took it out. One, two, three. I love little upgrades like this that like are quick and easy. Absolutely. Sometimes it's just the little things that matter most, right baby? Always, baby. That was just like that. And you take all your factory screws, Use your factory in. hardware and screw everything back together. Well, last drill died, so we had to grab our uh, handy dandy one. Last two screws to put in, and the grill inserts are done. So, pretty easy install, just a little bit time consuming with the amount of screws and being careful to take the clips off and stuff. But other than that, it ain't bad at all. Okay, we got everything on. That's pretty good if the all black. So these are our fog lights. Like I said, same size as the low beams and high beams and she'll fit right in. <coughs> you gotta play with her a little bit until she really sits in there. It's a little pain in the, in the behind. I wish you just got a video of what I just did. Got an STI front bumper over here. Scratched the shit underneath. Oh, yeah. oh you got it? So I was able to get it in place, turn it left, and she locked in. And it looks like they'll all sit up straight like that. And these are your fans so she don't overheat. And boom. Get to the headlights, you'll need to remove uh, the headlight cover dresser. Remove all these little screws. I already have this one almost done. I'll try it off. Alright, so guys, for you to correctly get the headlight out of your socket here or whatever, we have bolts here on the side for your bumper brackets. You wanna get these out first, and then you have your other bumper bracket here. One, two, 
like three is somewhere in there. Use your 10 millimeter socket. Use your magnet to get it out because you got a deep hole. Boom. If you look over to the other side, that's what it will look like. Cobwebs. You got spiders in there? Spiders. Oh, come on. Come on, Betsy. It's the teeth. I have to pull that up. So nope. this one has the little flange on it. Wow, there's like a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot like of four bulbs. different uh so three bulbs and one plug when you're uh taking that out. So just keep in mind, don't just don't go to yank out your headlight, you know you got all those connections attached to it. You like what you see? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. These are the new headlights. A little bit of the unboxing here. Super bright LEDs. Dot com. I've used these guys before and I'm very impressed with them. So to those who own super bright LEDs, thank you for your super bright LEDs. So this is the high beam right here. That we were just talking about. This is a quick plug and play, so. You just take out your old one and plug in the new one. And if you come over here, for you to get to your low beams, daylight, running lights, it just pops right off. And bada boom. Yeah. Just gonna scratch it. Twister. Reacher. Look at that gross stock bulb. Ew. Ew. Same thing, it has that little flange on it. Make sure you don't yank on it. Press on that little flange there. Mm-hmm. Alright, now we gotta get the, the LED new bulb. Oh, sick. So, for Jeep on super bright LED, I figured out that these bulbs are the same size for each fog, high beam, and low beam slash daylight running light. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, they run at H9, H11. And boom. Sham. Ah, so all of them are they going to be equally as bright then? Not just equally as bright, but super bright. Super bright and all the same brightness. That's cool. So each one is going to be pulling the same amount of amps. In uh, other words, mm -hmm. then you just go on it in and put it back in like so. So the LED bulbs that Ryan ordered is headlight bulbs, the main ones. Uh, they're a little bit too big. Looks like the ballast is attached to the LEDs. A little too fat for the actual headlight housing. So you, if you bought these specific ones, you will need to grind it down and maybe sand it a little bit. 
just so you can get it to fit inside there. So if you buy these bulbs and you don't have a sander like that, uh, definitely want to keep that in mind. All right, so now we got our low beams and our high beams in, low, high. Housing's a little eh, eh over here. Hopefully uh, we don't get any moisture or anything like that, but no. we'll have to see what happens. Maybe that just helped out a little bit, but hey, you never know. I'll put your clips back in, like so. This is the right one. No, it's not. That's the right one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, good thing is, is that you can't mix these up because they just won't work. So it has to go where it has to go. So what I'm gonna do here is just make wires just so short for everything, yeah. You know? Let me hold the light for you. That's that one. Check a Rooney. I'm over here on my tippy toes, I can hit it. She's in. Got your blinker. So you got four things you need to plug back in. Low beam, high beam, blinker, and electrical pretty much. Yeah, that's blinker. It's alive. Uh -huh. Well, that's bright. She bright. Thing for the other side. I love this thing. This color, beautiful. Alright, let's give it a test. Got everything. High beams. Both low beams are working. Sorry. No, it's okay. My eyes. We're not technically supposed to look at the light when it turns on. <laughs> well, we are. God damn. Nice Woo! and bright. Way cleaner. I'm bolting up your headlights. It's good to put the top screw in first. It's the easiest one. That way it won't fall when you're screwing in these bottom ones. And then you repeat the same process for the other side. Put your headlight cover back on. Then when you get everything clicked in, you put these little plastic mm. pushing clips. Um, Should we just be able to push right in, no? Same type of clips mm. that were on the rear taillights. Mm. So we're gonna run the power for the LED bar that Ryan wants to put up. We're gonna run it pretty much to this point over here. And it looks like they have marks made for right here and here. It's gonna sit and hang right underneath this part of the car. And where are you placing the button? Most likely. For this LED? Right here. Okay. So you're gonna have to take out some of your interior uh, uh, molding on the side here and pull that out. Yeah, you're gonna have to pull it out. That's if you wanna place the button there too. You know, you can put it in different places, like maybe the door panel or something, but we're putting ours here. And uh, pretty much you're gonna run it all the way from that battery port over there all the way into here, right? Yep. It's gonna be a fun job. Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing here is fishing the wire to the other side to where our battery is, our battery terminals. All right, so to put it in this LED light bar that we have here, it's not specific for the Jeep. So we had to kind of do our own little rig here. So we had to fish 
the wire all the way up here up into the terminal here and then this is where the switch will be going so this flows through here and then i'll go around the car and show you cable will go through the glove box underneath and then pretty much flow through the middle console all the way to here and the switch will go right there so i made my marks over here little marks so we can put our switch in just drilling out some holes so we can get a little cutter in here and that, and that way we can uh, get a nice little cut going I'm just trying to open it up with my little drill bit here So if you don't have an air tool, you could probably get a battery powered one of these, um, but it's pretty much just a pipe saw. Hold it like that, that way you don't cut your hand off. And boom. Well, it fits. Shoes. All the connections are done. And final. Final step is to connect our baby. Let's do it. Give me a moment right there. Definitely works. Plug in fog lights before you try and fit everything. Don't want to tighten everything up and forget to plug in those, because that would suck. Had to do some fabricating over here because uh, Ryan had to get his <laughs> little LED bar. Fit there. Don't watch the lead in my left, Ryan. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. She know better than that. <laughs> Modifications never are more too free. I'm glad I'm here to help though, because it would have taken even longer. We have to make a whole new bracket kind of thing so we can mount it. That way our bumper fits on. So we got these screws. You put the screw through, put your lock washer on, and then you get your nut on. That's got the washer on it as well, so she locks in place, hence why we call it a lock washer. Luckily, you had someone that knows how to fabricate that. <laughs> Thankfully, too. So if you guys want to put in an LED bar like this, you will have to do some uh, rigging to it. Um, I would brackets. recommend getting someone that knows how to do this stuff pretty professionally, like we have right here. Um, if you want to get it done, maybe Lisey's could do it for you, but, um, yeah, so this, to be mounted like this, it was, uh, kind of a customized rig, so, yeah, I think this will work, though. We'll see once we put the bumper on now. Well, looks like you got it to work. The uh, being behind the grill is bright. Yeah. Super bright. <laughs> you check your positive and negative because they're reversed. <laughs> Stupid things. Yeah, check your positive and negative when you're putting it in because they're reversed, so easily get confusing, but this is why you check before you screw everything in anyway to make sure everything works before you're all tightened up and ready to go. So turn them all on at the same time. So bright. That's Ryan's mom. Check out the reverse. Ain't a 
loud car, but it's definitely super nice. I'd prefer like a Jeep Wrangler? Nah, I don't know. I think I would prefer a Grand Cherokee or a Wrangler. For sure, these are the two best Jeeps. No. no. You happy with that? Hell yeah. All right guys, so that will do it on our headlight and fog light and reverse light and LED bar, LED install video on the Jeep Grand Cherokee. And don't forget, this is also the upper grill insert uh, replacement video too. If you guys wanna switch out your grill at all, quick little video on that as well. What year is this car? We got a 2020. 2020. How do you Grand like Cherokee? it? Love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Um, do you want to turn on the LED bar for us one last time? Bam. So, if anybody's wondering if they could put an LED bar underneath the lower grill, you totally can. All right, so that'll do it on today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to keep up for more Mustang content, maybe even more Jeep content. Now that uh, we know that Ryan likes to, you know, obviously put some upgrades into his car. He was actually thinking about doing a Hellcat swap on this car. I don't know if he's serious. Who knows, maybe that'll happen and we'll be able to shoot that video for you guys. If that does, that'll be sick. That'll do it for the video. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram too. Uh, thanks guys, bye.